I'm the antagonist and today I'll be doing a video about making a spectrum analyzer using the M class stereo imager and the remix mixer. Some people prefer using the BV512 vocoder for their spectrum analyzers. I don't personally trust that because it doesn't tell you which frequencies each band is at. Personally, I like using the stereo imager because then you can choose which frequency it splits at. Uh, for this, I'm going to create a combinator. This combinator should be between the mastering device and the hardware device. Uh, typically, you won't use this to actually change any of the levels. You'll just use it to visualize the frequencies in order to help your mastering process. The first thing you're going to want to create is a 14 channel mixer inside the combinator followed by an M-Class stereo imager. So on the stereo imager, I'm going to turn the crossover frequency all the way down, the solo to low band, and flip it around and turn the separate out to the high band. Then you're going to want to make 12 copies of the stereo imager. start routing, you're going to want to put the combinator input into the first stereo imager's input. Then you're going to want to connect the stereo imager output to the first channel of the mixer. The separate output will go to the input of the second stereo imager and the second stereo imager output to the second channel of the mixer. Repeat this until you've got all 14 channels complete. So this is the look of the final product. As you can see, when I flip the rack around, each of the crossover frequency knobs has been bumped up from the one before. The scribble strips on the stereo imagers have been named to the crossover frequency that the knob is on. And this means that the output from the first stereo imager will be below 100 hertz. The second imager will be between 100 and 157 hertz. And so on and so forth until you get to the top you know 20 kilohertz and each of these is portrayed on its own channel on the mixer and each of the scribble strips will tell you what frequency it's at so when you start the song you can see each of the frequencies easily portrayed within the mixer you can solo out any of them and also it's completely non-destructive to the sound if I were to turn off the combinator completely, you wouldn't notice the difference. So there you go. That's my tutorial for an easy way to make a labelable, accurate spectrum analyzer within reason using the stereo imager and the remix mixer. Thanks for your time. This has been The Antagonist.